Hello there. Power BI is one of the most important tools used by business analysts in business intelligence and analytics field. If you have business analyst interview coming up shortly where they have specifically asked for Power BI skills, then this is the video for you. In this video, we have to cover top 15 interview questions on Power Query, which is one of the key components used for data transformation in Power BI tool. If you don't know Power BI also, it's fine. This video will help you with the basics. We have lots to cover. Let's get started. Question number one. What is Power Query? Power Query is an ETL tool that is Extract, Transform and Load tool. It can help shape, transform and clean data with the help of intuitive interfaces without any need to code. Power Query is also known as Power Editor. It helps in giving the data the desired transformation and shape as per the analyst requirements. So in the example above, in step 1, click on Home, then in step 2, Transform Data option and this opens up the Query Editor screen. In a nutshell, it helps in adding or removing data to shape it according to the requirements appending and joining data from several sources, importing data from various sources like files, databases, social media data, big data and so on. Question number two, what are text transformation tools in Power Query? Power Query includes a set of text functions based on library of string functions in Excel, but which have been modified to work with tables and columns in tabular models. Some important and notable text transformation tools are highlighted in this slide, split column, format and extract. These functions allow to transform the text as needed. For example, if we have name as John Doe's in lower case and analyst wishes to convert it into upper case, then go to format and select the function upper case and the output would be John Doe's in the upper case. Also, these text transformation tools cover many functionalities like split column, format and extract which are being covered in detail in the upcoming slides. Question number 3. What does split column function do? In Power Query, a column of text can be split into multiple columns using the functionality of split column. Let us take an example. Step 1. Select the product name column in the table. The basis on which split needs to be done. Step 2. Click on split column functionality and then select by delimiter. And once the dialog box opens, select the desired options as the business requirements. As here it is selected as each occurrence of the delimiter. Step 3. The columns product name 1, product name 2 and product name 3 will be added to the table split based on delimiter hyphen. Thereby, when the analyst applies split column function, it creates multiple columns based on the delimiter as done in the example above. Similarly, as shown in the screenshot, there are multiple options that can be used as the basis to split the column like by number of characters, by positions, by lower to upper case and so on. Question number 4. Where is format option? What all does it do? The format option is under transform tab in Power Query Editor and it can be used to implement multiple format options which are related to text in the data set. It has got multiple options as shown in this slide, lowercase, uppercase, etc. In the example above, the first name is in uppercase and by applying the functionality of lowercase under format option, it gets converted to lowercase. This is how other functionalities can also be implemented as per the business requirements and needs. Question number 5. What does extract function do? The extract function in transform tab primarily extracts the characters or text from the column. It could be achieved within the same column or in the new one as per the business requirement. Step 1. Select the first name column in the table from which extraction of characters need to be done. Step 2. 
Click on Extract Functionality and then select First Characters and once the dialog box opens, fill the count as per the business requirement as here it is filled as 2. Step 3. The column First Name will reflect only first two characters from the first name based on the condition given as count 2 in the previous step. Also for your information, when an analyst applies extract function, then using it with add column functionality creates a new column with the extracted characters and if applied onto the same column as done in the example above, it makes the changes to the column itself. Question number 6. What are numeric specific tools in Power Query? Numeric specific tools are the ones which can be used to perform various types of quantitative computations on the data set. As the name suggests, numeric specific tools are the ones which are used to perform addition, multiplication, etc. on the data. For example, if analyst wants to know the unit sales of a product, then division operator will be used, wherein total number of units will be divided by total revenue generated. The various numeric specific tools are Statistics, which can be used to apply various statistical functions like standard deviation, which gives an insight about spread of the data points in the data set. Median, which gives the median value of the column selected. Average, which gives the average value of the column selected in the data set. Next, standard. This primarily covers basic mathematical operations like add, multiply, subtract, divide, etc. Scientific. This functionality is used to calculate absolute value that is distance from zero without considering the direction, square root, exponent, the operations that can be applied on the numerical values of the column. Trigonometry. This is used to apply various trigonometrical functions on the data which are sine, cosine, tangent, etc. Question number seven. What is pivoting and unpivoting data? Pivoting is a way to describe the process of turning distinct row values into columns. Unpivoting is a way of turning columns into rows. Imagine that the table is on a hinge. Pivoting is like rotating it from vertical to a horizontal layout and unpivoting is like rotating it from horizontal to vertical as shown in the slide. Question number 8. What are date and time specific tools in Power Query? The date and time dimension or calendar dimension is one of the most common tables in a reporting data model. There are many functionalities in Power Query which can be used to do multiple transformations and manipulations. In the above scenario, select Power Query Editor, click on Add Column and then under Date, select Month only and thus a new column with header Month would be added to the table. Similarly, if you have date and time column, order date, together like 25th October 1995, 2 pm, then you can have separate columns for date and time by applying date only and then time only on the order date column. Question number 9. How do we do VLOOKUP in Power Query? Merging queries functionality allows analysts to join tables based on a common column. It is like VLOOKUP in Excel for Power Query. Step 1. Select Merge Queries under the Home ribbon. Step 2. Select the tables along with type of join that needs to be applied once the dialog box opens. The message in the end with the green tick would show the number of rows matched in both the tables. The next screen would show the two merge tables selected in the previous step. In the example shown, we are merging the Adventure Works Sales 2017 table with Adventure Works Products table, which share a common product key column. Merging adds columns to the existing table. Analysts must merge the tables if there are any such business requirements. In general, it is always better to keep the tables separate and define relationships between them. Question number 10. What is appending queries in Power Query? Appending queries allow analysts to combine or stack tables that share the exact same column structure and data types. Step 1. 
Select Append Queries under the Home ribbon. Step 2. Select the tables that need to be appended once the dialog box opens. The next screen would show the appended tables selected in the previous step. Appending functionality in Power BI adds rows to an existing table. In the example above, the two tables got appended as they share common schema. The structure is same for both the tables. Question 11. What is indexing or how can index column be added in Power Query? Index column contains a list of sequential values that can be used to identify each unique row in a table, typically starting from 0 or 1. You can add an index using select index column under the add column ribbon. The next screen would show the index column being added to the table selected in the data set. The columns created by indexing are used to create unique IDs that can be used to form relationships between tables. In Power BI, by default, starts with 0, but there are options where it can be changed to 1 as well. Question number 12. How do you create a group or aggregate in Power Query? Grouping helps analysts to clearly view, analyze and explore data and trends in the visuals. The steps followed for the grouping are as follows. Step 1. Select the product key column in the table. The basis on the grouping needs to be done so that total quantity can be calculated. Step 2. Click on group by functionality and once the dialog box opens, select the product key column from the drop down. Write down the name of the newly calculated column. Like in the above example, it is total quantity. Select the operation as sum and the column on which this operation needs to be done. Like in this example, it is order quantity. Step 3. The column total quantity will be added to the table group based on product key. In the screenshot above, the product ID 350 has been ordered multiple times by different customers and now analyst wants to transform this table and see an aggregated result at product ID level. This is summarization of the order quantities by unique product ID and the total quantity for product key 350 is 31. Question number 13. What is conditional column? Conditional columns allow analysts to define new fields based on logical rules and conditions, if or then statements. Conditional column is achieved by applying the desired logic and conditions as per the client requirements. For example, here the operator is greater than or equal to is applied on the value 35. If the price is above 35, the product is tagged as high end. If the price is below 35, the product is tagged as low end. Question number 14. What is data source settings in Power Query? The data source settings in Power Query Editor allows analysts to manage data connections and permissions. This option is in the Home tab under Power Query Editor. In the screenshot, we can see that there are number of connections with CSV files and an Excel file. After getting the list of sources under Data Source Setting, the path of the CSV files, if needed, can be changed by clicking on Change Source button. Question number 15. How are Power Query Refresh Settings configured? By default, all the queries in the model will refresh when the Refresh command is used from the Home tab. Refresh functionality is supported in Power Query as and when you import data sets externally, it can be done manually by using Refresh Now option or one can also set up using Schedule Refresh. It is recommended to exclude queries that don't change often like lookups or static data tables. From Power Query Editor, one can check or uncheck Include in Report Refresh to exclude or include individual queries from the refresh. Did you enjoy this video? If so, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel right now. Do hit on the bell icon so that you will be notified when we release new videos on business analysis.